Okay, today we're going to do a lecture on Excel. We are using a data file, um, Excel 3-3, and you can find that the data files are in block, on Blackboard, on their coursework, on their OCPA, and you just go ahead and make sure to save this or these data files onto your flash drive. Do not upload them to the server. You're only uploading um, the assignments that are to be graded. And today we're going to look at module three and we're looking at independent challenge one. So this one right here. I'm going to give you a few tips when you are working on Excel and um, that'll make it a little bit easier. For example, as you can see, we're on the fresh to you inventory um, data file and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to zoom in. It'll let me. And then what I'm going to show you is that you can go ahead and actually resize your columns. Um, your columns are your letters up here, A, B, C, D, and your rows are your numbers over on the left. And in order to resize your columns, you want to make sure that you're going to the top and you're going to have like a little crosshair right in the middle of both, in between of both columns. And you're just going to double click and that'll resize your columns for you. You can also resize it manually by dragging it um, left to right, but if you want to make it auto fit like auto resize and you go ahead and just double click the column um, so that way you can see everything all the content and um, some formulas or some functions that you're going to be using for example to multiply on um, Excel you want to use the asterisk which is shift 8 you hold them at the same time and that's what you're going to be using to multiply to divide you're wanting to use a forward slash and so that's that one it works subtract you're going to want to just use your hyphen tab is so that you can go ahead and actually um move across a spreadsheet enter is to move down um that'll help you so you're not clicking on the mouse you're just using your keyboard um to add you're just going to use a plus sign which is shift and then um, the equals and that'll be your plus now that's just a little quick reference for you guys to have that's not something you're gonna utilize um, for this assignment but just a quick reference oh and every time you click you have to make sure that you when you enter content into your cell you want to press enter because if you start clicking it's going to start referencing other cells so we don't want that so you want to deactivate that cell by by clicking out of it or pressing enter um the next thing, what I want to show you, oh, for example, this is a spelling error, so you double click, and that's supposed to say value, press enter, and you're done there. Okay, so on this assignment, all you're pretty much doing is you're trying to figure out how much you have on hand. Um, for example, milk, you're going to want to maybe start by typing an equal sign, and then you want to reference. You don't want to enter the numbers, because in case any of these change, um, it'll always reference what's in this cell if you click on it so equals and then click on the price paid we're wanting to multiply by the ones that we have on hand so that's where you're going to use your asterisk then you're going to reference the ones on hand and then enter and you should get with the book on page excel 74 they give you the answers there so 110 and that's correct now to format it all you have to do is for example on this one go to the home tab then you're going to your groups, which are down here. You're going to your number group, and then the icon that has the uh, increase decimal and decrease decimal, you want to increase it um, and decrease it to the right format. So it should only be, since it's a currency value, or you could even click on currency, and it'll give you the dollar symbol. Then you go ahead and you can actually drag down. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to make sure that this becomes um, a cross symbol and when you drag it down it'll auto fill the rest of your formula so once you've done it one time on Excel it makes it very easy for you to just go ahead and auto fill the rest of the um, values for you so you don't have to keep doing that over and over again um, so think of Excel as like a big calculator that um, is doing most of the work for you um, the cell value so in order to get what it comes out to be 148.50 the thing with this one is you have to absolute cell reference it and the way you do that is by pressing the F4 key. And so I'll show you how that's done. So again, equals. And then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the on hand value. So reference this by clicking on it. And you see that's E4, 
so the intersection of the letter, the row, the column, and then the row, the number, and that's your um, E4, that's your cell. Then you're gonna multiply again, so again, asterisk symbol, and then right when you click on this one, when you click on H1, on H1, you're wanting to absolute cell reference that, so that way, when you press the F4 key, it starts inserting dollar symbols before the H and before the one, and when you press enter, you should get the same value as what they give you on page 74. And now when you autofill it, and I'll show you what happens if you don't absolute cell reference, but when you do autofill, it should work, and it should give you all the right prices. Now, let's say we didn't cell reference that. This is what would happen. So let's say if I were just press equals, then I were to press the, or click on the on hand value, and then I multiply it by the markup. What happens is Excel doesn't know what to do with this markup value. So when you go and you bring it down, you can see that it's not going to give you the values you need until you absolute cell reference it. So that's where it comes in handy using that F4 key. So let's undo. And this time, we're going to make sure that we absolute cell reference it. And I know it's a pain, but it does help out. It does do the trick. So again, equal sign. Reference, asterisk to multiply. Oops, I'm doing the wrong one. And again, click on your markup value, but press that F4 key to absolute cell reference it. And now it'll go ahead and fill in the correct values. All right, I hope this helps you for 3-3. Um, again, there's a lot you can do with um, Excel. For example, you're probably going to want to center this merge and center you want to um, always another tip is save the merge and center until you know exactly how many columns you're gonna have so in this case I know that I have one two three four five six columns so now I know that I need to merge and, and center my my head my heading my top row by six columns because if not if you don't if you decide to merge and center first and you're not sure how many columns you're gonna have you're gonna end up with something like this and that doesn't look good. So make sure you wait until the end to do the merge and center. That way it actually looks right. Okay, thank you.